Imagine you are a project manager at a firm and you want one of your teammates Alex to follow up with the client regarding a particular task. So, ideally you might want to create a task for this specific client, assign it to Alex and also set a due date for the same. Additionally, you would also want to remind Alex to follow up on the task two days before the due date. Such cases can be handled by using Zoho Books. Once you invite Alex, he will receive an email notification informing him that the task has been assigned to him and two days before the due date, he will also receive a reminder prompting him to follow up with the client regarding the task. In this video, we will see how to create and manage tasks in Zoho Books. Let's get started. To enable tasks in your organization, log into your Zoho Books account, go to Settings and click General under Preferences. Mark the box Tasks under Select the modules you would like to enable and click Save. Next, let's configure preferences for tasks according to your business. Go to Settings, click Tasks under Preferences. Under General Preferences, you can mark this box if you want to notify users once the status of the task is changed to completed. Mark this box if you want to set the default preference for reminders and select the alert type and set the reminder. If you want to add additional fields to your task page, you can go to the Custom Fields tab and do so. Then click Save. You have configured preferences for tasks. Now we will see how to create tasks. There are two ways you can do this. One is by clicking the task icon at the top right corner of your page and the second is by clicking the task icon in the menu bar of a specific transaction. Let's see one by one. To create tasks from the top right corner of a page, click the task icon here, click create task, enter the title name. If the task is related to one of the contacts in your organization, you can associate them here. Select the due date for the task. Select the user to whom you want to assign the task. Mark this option if you wish to notify the user about the task through email. Choose the priority of the task. You can choose if it's very low, low, normal, high or very high. Enter the description and attach files if you wish. Enable the toggle button if you want to set a reminder before the due date and select the alert type from the drop down. Then click save. That's it, you have created a task. You can also create tasks by clicking the task icon in the menu bar of a specific transaction. For the purpose of this video, we will choose invoices. Go to the Invoices module, select an invoice and click the task icon here. Click plus new task, enter the title name. The related contact will be associated by default. Select the due date for the task. Select the user to whom you want to assign the task. Mark this option if you wish to notify the user about the task through email. Choose the priority of the task. Enter the description and attach files if you wish. Enable the toggle button if you want to set a reminder before the due date and select the alert type from the drop down. Then click save. You have associated the task to this invoice. Let's look at some of the other functions that can be performed in tasks. You can click the task icon at the top right corner of any page and view a list of tasks created within Zoho Books. On clicking a task, you can view the associated transaction and add comments if necessary. You can update the percentage of the task completed and change the status accordingly. Here we have three statuses. Yet to start, in progress 
and complete it by default. If you want a custom status, you can do so by going to settings, click tasks under preferences. Under custom status, click plus new custom status. Select the status under which you want to create the sub status and enter the status name. Choose the label color, add a description if you wish and click save. Now you will be able to view the custom status you have added under change status. On clicking the more icon here, you will be able to edit, clone and delete the task. You can also sort, apply filters and view tasks based on their status, priority or the assigned user. Additionally, you can customize columns and on clicking the three dotted icon here, you can import and export tasks as well. That's a wrap for our video on managing tasks in Zoho Books. Thanks for watching.